absolute value is something that shows up on the ACT all the time. Let's make sure you can solve it quickly or at least use the calculator. The key concept when working with absolute value is to understand absolute value is nothing but positive. Okay? So anything that comes out of our absolute value lines there and there, or let's say there and there, is going to be positive. So 6 minus 4 is 2. Make sure whatever comes out is positive. Minus. 3 minus 8 is negative 5. But whatever comes out is positive. So we'll just bring out a positive 5. And 2 minus 5 happens to be a negative 3. Let's take a look at this one. Here's our absolute value inside absolute value. See that? That means our total answer, whatever is going to be at the very end, is going to have to be positive. So let's take a look. We have the absolute value of negative 8 minus 4. Well, negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12. You lost 8, and then you lost 4 more, so you're down 12. But coming out of those lines, it's positive. Minus. 3 minus 9 is a negative 6, but coming out of those lines, it's positive. And the absolute value of 12 minus 6, well, that's the absolute value of 6, which is 6. If you don't believe me, Use the calculator, especially if you're unsure on your ACT. Let's take a look. You can go to the math button and go over once to numbers, and there's your absolute value. So we're going to type in the absolute value. There's also another trick to get there. You can use the alpha button up to this function up here. There is absolute value again. And we're going to type in negative 8 minus 4. Make sure you don't mess up your negatives and your minuses using your arrow keys to move in and out. Then we're going to have another minus, another absolute value. It's going to be 3 minus 9. Moving on out. 6. It's that simple.